And there's several accounts in uh, the Annals of Naval History where a small ship would go up against a larger ship. Often it was the case uh, a small pirate uh, schooner or uh, sloop or even a brig might go up against a uh, merchant or even a brig going up against a third rate uh, or larger. One of the things that would uh, the smaller ship would try to do is get really close really quick because the larger ship would be sitting a little further out of the water uh, in such case that the, the lowest gun deck would be above the deck of the small ship and you can't depress a cannon past a certain point uh, so they're designed to go long not short and so <clears throat> when the small ship was trying to engage this large ship mostly because it had to it wasn't you know per choice unless it was a pirate uh, they were getting close to make it harder for the large ship to damage it with cannon fire so today we're going to talk about a house rule that would allow this to be replicated on the table stay tuned so right, welcome to today's episode of uh, Nate Hedgehog Naval Academy today's house rule we're really going to talk about when a large or extra large ship fires at a small ship. That's really what we're covering here. Uh, it's when the only time this rule comes into play is when the small ship is within point, well, the two ships are within point blank range, you know, within three inches. So just before a boarding action potentially, not that you might want to do a boarding action against the third rate with the brig, but um, the reality is oftentimes those smaller pirate ships will go against the larger merchant ships by getting in close so that it would diminish the impact the cannons could have when a small you know brig would go up against a third rate simply because it had to uh, such as a third rate that stumbled upon a uh, blockade runner or something uh, that brig would again try to minimize damage by getting close because the the guns, especially in the, in the upper decks, could not depress far enough to get their shot on the, the ship. So I wanted to create a rule that would kind of ref, reflect this, uh, especially in the case of when you're, fi when you're playing something like Smuggler's Run, where in a couple of the patrol fleets that you can face, you might have some small ships that are going up against a third rate or even a first rate. So. I think that this, there is some value in having this particular rule. Again, it's only for flavor. You don't have to use it if you don't want to, but let's discuss it. First, let's take a, a look at what I'm talking about physically. Okay, now we can't always go by you know referencing the models, but in this case we can. Um, remember, a lot of the pirate ships were smaller ships. Brigs are smaller. Now, I've got a schooner and a large merchant, and if you can see on the, the the lowest level of the cannons on the merchant ship are all sitting above the deck of the deck height actually above the even the gunnel height of the uh, schooner all right that's that's what we're talking about that's that's the thing we're dealing with here if it were a third rate or even a first rate there'd be a whole bunch more guns above that are just not able to depress into the hull that's, I think, what we want to talk about today. So let me go. Let's go ahead and discuss right, it now. Before you say, "Well, the ships can still be hit by the guns," yeah, exactly, they can. The thing is, the hull is going to be very, very hard to hit, especially in the case of your larger warships. The upper deck guns will not be able to hit. Matter of fact, almost none of the guns will be able to hit the hull. But yes, the sails are there. So this house rule is real simple: when a small ship is within point blank range of a larger extra large ship the extra the large ship is or extra large ship is forced to fire at the uh, sails for forced to shoot high now the small ship is conversely forced to shoot at the hull that's just simply how it works right um, there just isn't enough room to go any higher now this does a allow two things to reflect. First of all, the danger that the sails are in for the small ship being so close to a larger ship, but also the less likely they're going to get take hits because the only thing they're shooting at is sails and masts. So there's a minus two to hit when you're aiming high, unless of course you go chain shot, 
and of course unless the French are you're playing the French then they have a better uh, a more improved penalty so essentially um, I this I think fairly represents it. Again, it's a very situational thing. It's probably too small for most of you to include in your game, but in the case of Smuggler's Run, I think it might be an option. Uh, of course, the crits you take from being uh, shooting high can be a lot worse, but as far as hitting the hull and being more likely to hit, it's going to minimize it a little bit. Uh, again, take a pinch of salt if you want. You don't need to use this. It's house rules, remember, to add flavor to a game. If this, if you don't like the flavor, you don't use the rule. It's really simple as that. So we'll see how this one works. I think when we're playing games like Smokers Run where there's some pirate type things involved or you're going against trying to take merchant ships, I think this might be very useful because just like in reality, you have a relatively experienced, meaning a regular crew, on the smaller ship trying to take down an more inexperienced merchant vessel crew as far as cannon go uh, so you might want to what I would do is use this if you're using the especially if you're using the rules for uh, where the merchant ships have a slightly different crew quality it's the the I forget that I to call that particular house rule but essentially merchant ships would have a crew quality of regular unless it comes to gunnery and then they're inexperienced so uh, or even striking colors. So this way you have a chance uh, of preserving your ship when it's small, going up against these large merchants and trying to take over the merchants, especially if you're running a pirate and you're adding the sturdy uh, rule special or upgrade to your ship so you get a few extra crew that way uh, at least in uh, that's one way you can interpret the extra uh, hit points or hull points. All right so I hope this was useful to you, uh, at least give you something to think about, uh, maybe you come up with your own house rules. Please share, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.